హాయ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రీనివాస్ మీరు చూస్తున్నారు కేవీ టెలివిజన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈ క్లాసెస్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ లో చక్కని మార్కులు సాధిస్తే దాని ప్రభావం కేవలం ఇంటర్ మార్కులపైనే కాదు ఎంసెట్ ఐఐటి లాంటి ఏ ఎంట్రన్స్ రాసినా కనిపిస్తుంది అందుకే మ్యాథ్స్ పై విద్యార్థుల ఫోకస్ ఎక్కువగా ఉంటుంది మ్యాథ్స్ లో సాధించే మార్కులే ఇంటర్ గ్రేడ్ ని నిర్దేశిస్తాయి మరి ఇలాంటి సబ్జెక్ట్ ను ఎంత జాగ్రత్తగా ప్రిపేర్ అయితే అంత మంచిది ఈ దృక్పథంతో ఆలోచించే వారి కోసమే కేఏబి టెలివిజన్ అందిస్తోంది ఈ క్లాసెస్ మరి ఇంకేమాత్రం జాప్యం చేయకుండా క్లాస్ లోకి ఎంటర్ అయిపోదామా డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ నిన్నటి ఎపిసోడ్లో మ్యాథ్స్ పేపర్ టూబీలో అప్లికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్కి సంబంధించి ఏరియాస్ గురించి కొన్ని విషయాలను తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా మరి ఈరోజు ఎపిసోడ్లో అప్లికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్కి సంబంధించి ఏరియాస్ గురించి మరికొన్ని అంశాలను తెలుసుకుందాం మరి ఈ టాపిక్ను మ్యాథ్స్ బోధనలో అపార అనుభవం గల చంద్రశేఖర్ గారు వివరిస్తారు the application of the integration definite integration integration as well as definite integration whatever the theory learned should be applied without application purely for mathematical purposes mathematics is not learned one of the one of the important and best application is finding out the area under the simple curve now what i do i present like this first i will present the basic ideas of the area calculation then i will work out important questions now this comes under actually calls and falls under the category of numerical integration one essay question is compulsorily asked in numerical integration that amounts to 7 marks so numerical integration either trapezoidal or simpson rule or area any one of them is asked so area is around 7 marks if it is asked otherwise simpson or trapezoidal rule now the basic basic concepts of area i am going to present now now here what is the geometrical geometrical meaning geometrical meaning of geometrical meaning of definite integration this is this you recollect this you recollect which we have done in the definite integration session in definite integration session we have done this integral a to b fx dx what is integral a to b fx dx this is a real number this is a real number this real number corresponds to area this real number is equal to area area should have boundaries what are those boundaries here one boundary is x is equal to a line x is equal to a line one boundary another boundary is x is equal to b line x is equal to b line and uh, what is assumed here in between a and b the function is continuous is assumed continuous and also what is assumed assumed that fx is a positive one function fx assumes only the positive values what happens if the function assumes negative values we will see just in a minute first let us assume for simplicity sake the function is being positive so the function is positive here somewhere that graph will come so y is equal to fx graph has come now you have x axis now check four boundaries are there or not one boundary is x is equal to a this is boundary 1 one boundary is x is equal to b that is a boundary 2 y is equal to fx this is the third boundary y is equal to fx this is the fourth boundary these four boundaries will enclose certain area that area is a real number that real number is given by this definite integration so this is the geometrical meaning of definite integration so if a if curve is there 
which is totally positive if you want bounded between a to b simple definite integral will give you the answer now as i was telling you i was telling you that i was telling you that what happens if the uh, curve assumes if the function assumes negative value that we will see first make a see, mental note of this picture what is the mental note a to b f x dx stands for area bounded between x is equal to a x is equal to b x is equal to a x is equal to b and uh, the curve and finally x axis this is the first point point 1 in our synopsis okay now we can take up point number 2 what is the point 2 you say the point 2 is curve is totally negative curve is totally negative point number 2 integral a to b fx dx s yes, in when x belongs to a to b fx is totally assuming less than 0 so curve fx will be below the axis of x below the axis of x so negative okay now x is equal to a line will be here x is equal to b line will be here and x axis this is x axis so this is the required region this is the area this area will also be a real number that real number is equal to this definite integral this uh, definite integral okay i don't know whether it gets highlighted or not let me write with a different uh, uh, ink here a to b fx dx this is the this is the region this is the region this is a irregular region that irregular region is given by area is given by fx dx but with a minus sign but with minus sign if you recollect the first part was done with with positive sign here you are doing with a negative sign a to b fx dx will be done with negative if the part is totally negative now naturally you will get an idea you will get a doubt that uh, what happens if the curve is partly positive partly negative so whatever part is positive you will take positive fx whatever part is negative you will take negative fx i will show you that just in a minute ha ah. next day, so far we have seen three two points synopsical points regarding the area now the third point here is a to b fx dx represents the area but what happens from a to c the fx a to c fx is positive c to b fx is negative it is like this now imagine this is x axis here somewhere x is equal to a line is there the curve up to here at by the time it comes to c it is breaking up becoming zero so this is fx which is greater than zero and it goes negative and uh, this is x is equal to b line x is equal to a line here x is equal to b line there so this is what fx is less than zero then the required region becomes what this region up to c from a and from c to b how this total region is taken mathematically a to b fx dx because that is a to c only a to c that is because it is positive and afterwards what happens c to b you should take minus fx dx so partly positive partly negative is also covered so what was the first point first point was totally positive what was the second point totally negative third point partly positive and partly negative yes now next uh, synopsical point number 4 synopsical point number 4 is the x axis part is replaced by y axis mean earlier you have seen bounded with uh, x is equal to a now y is equal to b y is equal to a and y axis if you recollect the point number 1 the figure was 90 degrees tilted here y is equal 